मॉर्निंग सर ओके वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग कैन आई नो योर नेम माय नेम इज अब्लस सर ओके अब्लस कैन यू प्रोवाइड योर रिज्यूमे ओके अब्लस कैन यू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ माय नेम इज अब्लस आई एम फ्रॉम मुंबई कैपिटल स्टेडियम सर नगर एंड आई कंप्लीटेड माय डिग्री ग्रेजुएशन स्पेशलाइज्ड विद बीएससी कंप्यूटर्स एंड 2022 पास आउट एंड आल्सो 70 परसेंटेज मार्क्स माय हॉबीज आर इंटरेस्टिंग वाचिंग इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स एंड आल्सो लिसनिंग म्यूजिक एंड प्लेइंग क्रिकेट स्टेंस आर क्विक लर्नर एंड टाइम मैनेजमेंट माय टेक्निकल स्किल्स आर कोड जावा एमएस एक्सेल एमएस ऑफिस माय शॉर्ट टाइम कोरिस आई गेट दी गेट दिस जॉब एंड माय लॉन्ग टाइम कोरिस बिग पोजीशन इन दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लाइक मैनेजर टीम लीडर व्हाट एवर इट इज एंड आल्सो आई आई वांट टू बुक पैकेज दैट्स इट ब्लस दिस इज योर टेक्निकल राउंड बेस्ड ऑन कोड जावा we ask you few questions are you ready to answer that definitely sure sir okay here is your first question can you explain about java features okay sir java features are simple and secure robust and multi threading garbage collection platform independent sir is use of final keyword can you explain briefly okay sir final is a keyword it is used for variables methods and also class sir if you use it for variable uh, if you declare with a final keyword uh, with that final that variable is a constant fixed value and also if you use a final keyword with a method that method cannot be overwrite and if you declare with a final keyword in a class we cannot inherit it sir how to achieve 100% abstraction in java uh, we use the Interfaces to 100% achieve, 100% achieve abstraction Java. Sir. Okay. Can you explain about abstract keyword? Abstract is a keyword. A method does not have any body. It is called abstract method. A class, one or more than methods. In abstract methods, the class is called abstract class. So, what is exception and handling, and what is the use of try, catch, and final block? Exception handling is handle the runtime uh, errors, and uh, try try block is used for uh, put in discrete code, and uh, catch block is used for uh, put in handle code. And final block is irrespective of try and catch block, and uh, try uh, final block is uh, execute uh, without try. Or catch blocks. Okay. Is Java is 100% object-oriented programming language? No, sir. Because uh, Java is uh, depending on primitive data types. Primitive data types is uh, create and no object, sir. So uh, uh, Java is not 100% oriented programming language, and also Pope's concept is not 100% satisfied, sir. Because multi multiple inheritance are there. Okay, Abhilash. Can you tell how many data types in Java? Data types are two types. Uh, primitive data types are non-primitive data types. Primitive data types is byte, short, int, float, double, boolean, char, and also non-primitive data types is strings. Are. About interface. Uh, interface is similar to a class. Interface have variables and methods. Uh, if you take a variable, it by default uh, final and uh, static. variables and if you take a method by default abstract method and also we are interface implement implement in class used for implement keyword and java uh, one or more interfaces implement okay can you explain about throw and throws blocks throw block is used for creating a own object throws keyword hand in the multiple Unchecked exceptions. Okay, Ablash. This is your last question. Why Java is platform independent? Uh, because uh, Java write once run anywhere, and also carry the bytecode. So we are tied to uh, Java is platform independent. Okay, Ablash. 
Can you write a fork on about multi trading? Sure. Sir. Well done. So you need to improve your communication skills and body language. So overall, your performance is better. Thread, thread is a predefined task and also we take public wide run method. Uh, run method is also predefined method for using for loop uh, to print 1 to 10 members. Uh, and also uh, we sleep method interrupted exception. Uh, so we put dry block in a sleep method and also catch exception and uh, come to main class and also main method. And uh, RB class creating a uh, A1 object and A1 dot start method calling A2 creating a uh, two, uh, second object A2 is equal to new object A2 dot start method and uh, a new creating a new thread by using A1 object and call to uh, start method at the start method first A1 thread creating a new object this is a new state a1 dot start method calling it is a runnable state and also a public wide run it is execution so starting the execution so it is a running state and also a sleep method sleep method is a waiting state and all the program is executed and terminate the terminate the program is called a dead state and also uh, we take output output first we are calling the uh, a1 thread and also start method so uh, first output is 0 and uh, output a2 and come to the uh, waiting step so then the first execute is a waiting step then later go to the uh, second thread and output is 0 
and also uh, year 2 is come to the uh, sleep and waiting stage so the second uh, second trip is also waiting stage so second trip waiting stage then call to the uh, first trip so output is one and also uh, one is sleeping stage uh, then later come to the second trip so output is one and the simultaneously execute the uh, two and two and three three four four five five six six seven seven eight eight nine nine ten ten uh, and also sleep method uh, we take milliseconds so every our uh, dead execution running wait the uh, thousand milliseconds that's it sir